Okay, so we're just going to do a role play to try to demonstrate taking this uh, curious attitude into our um, social interactions. So we're just going to do a brief five minutes of role play to hopefully demonstrate taking an open mind, being curious to find out how someone's experienced something. Hi Lena, how have you been? It's nice to see you again. I have been, well, um, it hasn't been too bad. Um, my daughter was unwell, so I had to take some time off. Yeah. Um, during that time, I decided to keep myself busy around the house and do bits of DIY just to keep myself motivated until I got sick. You got sick, yeah. yeah. What was it like with your daughter being unwell? Um, very worrying, because um, yeah. she wasn't breathing well, um, right. so I had to keep checking on her and stuff which was quite scary but yeah. as kids do they bounce back quite easy um right but yeah once i then i got sick once she got a bit better i got sick and that was awful i couldn't breathe properly i couldn't my body was aching oh god um yeah. i was constantly had this dry cough just continuous dry cough it was awful uh once that kind of cleared up a little bit i had to do a test right um before coming back to work so that sounded like they were all the symptoms of this COVID, though. Didn't yeah. It? <laughs> so was that scary? Very so, scary because yeah. I couldn't. I was short of sort of breath and stuff, and I couldn't yeah. do much. The aches, couldn't get out of bed and stuff, and yeah, it was terrible. Like I haven't been sick like that for about three years. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's really horrible symptoms. Really horrible symptoms. Not knowing what it is. Um, you can call one one one, but they'll tell you to stay home unless you feel like you can't manage at home. Yeah. So there's not much you can do. You can't go shopping. You've got to rely on <laughs> friends yeah. or family to drop it at your doorstep, um, but, um, which so is interesting. <laughs> yeah. And not knowing whether it is it or not. not it's all that uncertainty. It's not knowing. So sort of and just trying to, I don't know, keep yourself... Well, you can't really eat much, so drinking a lot of liquids and take as much vitamins as you can and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what I did. But eating-wise, you can't keep much food down. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I got, once I got a little bit better, well, about 80% better, yeah. I had to do a test. Okay. Um, which what was, was that interesting. Like? <laughs> Very interesting. Was it? White tints. <laughs> um, right. So if you have a car, if you don't have a car, then they, I think you go to a GP or something like that. Okay. Um, if you have a car, you go to a place and you've got kind of queue up in your car it's like you drive around the roundabout and drive into a facility as a car park yeah um you're not allowed you said any it was full of white tents full of white like tents a, and like the kind of field <laughs> hospital or something like a field hospital exactly right. um you're not allowed they check your id and your registration and as you're going in once you'll get past that part you then drive into a tent, but you're not allowed your windows down at any point, and you're not allowed use of mobile phones at any point. And if it's hot, which it was hot on my day, I mean, I was sweating, like literally sweat was pouring off me. Yeah. Um, if you put your windows down, they're screaming, like, put your windows up, put your windows up, kind of thing. But, um, <laughs> oh my God, yeah. so, so once you go in, really? yeah, once you go into a tent, you're allowed to put your window down a little bit because they tell you to have it down like a crack and they slide through a package to you. Right. Um, they then explain to you through the glass what you need to do to administer the test, which um, swab each side of your throat five times, like near your lungs, and inside each nostril five times. But it's with the same swab, so your throat first, then your nostril, as far as you can get it down, swab down there, then you break off the bottom part, you put it into a tube, you put the labels on it, and you put that into another tube. And then once you, you still can't have your window down at any point because you've got right. security or wardens around saying no windows down. Like, And all that sounds quite invasive. Like it's very... You should push this right back to the back so of your throat and right. bring your nostrils. I can't, you've got to do it yourself. I like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> you've got to do it yourself. And they will, they, before, when, before you take the test, they usher you into a little parking space. So you can see all these random cars around you, people mm. doing the same tests. And once you've completed, you've got to drive around as you're going out of the exit, you drive into another tent. Right. And then the person speaks to you again, you can have your window down and crack again. And they exp like you show them what you've done. Then they 
hand a bin, or they hold a bin to the window, and you throw your your thing and into that bin. In. Your test into that bin, then you're free to go, basically. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. But so yeah. that that sounds like I don't know, seen from a film or something. You like with <laughs> all the people like sh shouting at you, don't mind your window. Don't mind your. That's song. the thing that made me a little bit frustrated because it was a very hot day. I can understand, obviously, they don't want to, you know, yeah. get anything, but it was a hot day. You can't have any kind of, I mean, unless you've got great air con, yeah, which yeah. I'm not fortunate to have, yeah. but um, <laughs> you're, you're going to be sweating. Yeah, yeah. Because you're not so allowed to get out. made you feel a bit annoyed. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. But once you're out of there, you can have, you know, that's yeah, yeah, sure. But whilst you're in there, no, and no phones. I understand that for other yeah. people's privacy. So yeah. that was interesting but now i'm i'm, I'm great <laughs> and yeah, after all of that my results came back negative so i'm not right. sure what i was actually ill of but gosh yeah so after even all of that having all of that all of those symptoms which sounded like covid sounded like it and then it's come back negative, negative completely negative so yeah. that must feel a confused bit a little bit confusing <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. okay thanks lena that's Thank really you. helpful so we hope this has been like a helpful um, demonstration of trying to just be curious to sort of understand what someone's gone through. Um, so yeah, um, and we'd be advising that, you know, to take that into your life, just trying to be curious with people that you're speaking with.